Good evening, everyone. There is a battle at the bus system between Metro and its drivers. The two sides agree there is a driver shortage, but they disagree strongly on whether the shortage is leading to unsafe rides. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch is live now to show us what this all means if you do take the bus. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. Metro carries about 15 million riders a year, and if I play my cards right, there's a bus that's going to go right behind me right now. 15 million riders a year, that's a lot of people. They all have a stake in how the bus system operates. They want it to operate on time, and they want it to operate safely. Cincinnati's Metro bus system runs about 15,000 trips a week. The company says most are on time. Some riders disagree. They're either late, they don't show up, they don't replace them, stuff of that nature. So it's a challenge for you. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Documents made public by the Amalgamated Transit Union show numerous instances of trips being missed due to no operator, no driver. Metro, however, says more than 99% of runs do go out. The company and the union agree on one thing. There is a driver shortage. 25 more drivers are needed. That does not help with scheduling. Of course, buses are going to be late and buses are going to be canceled. Something like that happens. But the union says there's a bigger issue here driver fatigue. The employee shortage means drivers are asked to work overtime. Some of them enjoy making the money, but a lot of them are just like, listen, I worked, I, I can't keep, I can't do all these hours and I don't want to have an accident because they feel Metro won't stand behind them when they have the accident. We certainly do not want any drivers on the road who feel fatigued. Um, safety is our number one absolute priority. We have an obligation to deliver all of our passengers safely to their destinations. If an operator feels too tired to operate a bus, please do not drive a bus. The union and the company interpret the rules of the driver's contract differently. Metro says a driver who works overtime at night can come in late the next day with no penalty. The union says that does not apply to all drivers. Union President Troy Miller sending this email to the transit board, saying a driver was not allowed to claim fatigue after getting off work at 1.38 a.m. and being forced back to work at 6.15 a.m. The email asks, would you want your kids to be in a bus like that with a driver who is worn out? The union has filed a grievance over how the fatigue rules are interpreted. An arbitrator will decide. The company says that they'd be willing to make some changes, but the company says the union is not interested in changing the rules. Interestingly, for urban transit systems, there is no federal hours of service law. Anything that has to do with fatigue has to be negotiated locally, whereas in uh, buses that go over the road, like Greyhound, Megabus, over-the-road trucks, railroads, airlines. There are government rules which mandate how much rest you have to have and how much work you can do before you have to stop. That is not the case in urban bus systems. Live downtown, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. Interesting. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Thank you, Jeff. However, the union management dispute plays out at Metro. The bus company is hiring right now. Drivers start at $15.86 an hour and top out at more than $26 an hour in as soon as three years.